So, um, I had the privilege of, uh, of uh, being there as a scout master as, as uh, Landon went through most of all the scouting and, and got to see him uh, participate in a lot of fun things and it was really fun to see him learn a lot in scouting and, and accomplish quite a bit of things. Um, right there down towards the end he was very very determined to finish up and, and get his eagle and it was really fun to see him work really hard to, to make that happen. It was in uh, right, where I come from in trucking we we have a term called rolling coal. If you guys know what that means, where after, after you get home go YouTube truck or rolling coal, you'll get a good impression of what Landon looked like as he was trying to finish up that eagle. <laughs> Landon, how about you? How much man you We have a few pins to present. We have this award here, certificate. Also, his badge. And here you can see what the bishop was talking about with the red, the white, red, white, and the blue, and what it's supposed to represent. Um, the bishop talked a little bit about about those things. Those colors represent honor and loyalty and courage. And <clears throat> now that you're an Eagle Scout, um, people will expect you to act like an Eagle Scout. And with that, people will naturally expect you to be a good leader. And one thing that we've learned from the Savior about leadership is service and in, and in scouting you learn to do a good turn daily and the savior uh, taught us that true leadership is serving other people so as you go forward in life in school when you're put in charge of a project or you have a group of people that you're in charge of or when uh, in your career you're given a task or at church when you receive a calling i want you to remember the Savior's example of service and serving other people. And as you get those callings, there'll be plenty of times when you get a calling or you get a task at, at work in your career and you won't know what you're doing or what to do or how to handle it or how to proceed. And if you remember, the Savior's example is to serve those around you. So when you get in those positions and you're not sure what to do, look around and see what you can do to make the people on your team successful, and what you can do to help the members of the board achieve their goals and be successful, and then go do that. And that's what a leader does. Um, so with that, I will I'll pin this on you. I'll give you a badge and a certificate, and then we'll have you uh, bring your parents up here, and there's a pin for your mom and a pin for your dad, and you can pin that on there. first. Okay, 
And so I'd actually like to give the mentor pin to John, actually, because he helped me through everything. And so. Well, with those reminders of, of uh, what the badge means, um, take that with you and remember the things you've learned in scouting, and I congratulate you. with the Boy Scouts of America and not using the Boy Scouts as the activity arm anymore. I was with uh, Bishop Stump and Bishop Pettengill, and I've never seen Bishop Pettengill smile so big. <laughs> and I've never seen Bishop Stump cry so loud. It was interesting dynamic that night. I think Bishop Stump almost punched Bishop Pettengill right in the face. <laughs> it was hard for him to contain his excitement. And I don't think, I'm, I'm speaking for him, I don't think that uh, he was excited that, uh, that the church was getting rid of the program because it's a bad program uh, and what it teaches, but some of it had become really hard, and, um, but, but I love what the Boy Scouts have taught me and what they have taught Landon um, and who he has become um, in part because of his service in the Boy Scouts of America. Um, but I remember getting home later that night, Landon was still awake, and I asked him, because he was close. He, you know, as we kind of plotted out the, the milestones for him to be able to receive his Eagle Award, we realized that it was gonna be a really tight window if he wanted to receive his Eagle um, while the, the, the church was still involved with scouting. And so we, we laid it out on a piece of paper, and I asked Landon, on a scale of zero to 10, Zero meaning you, you'd just be happy to walk away from scouts today, or 10 being you'll do whatever it takes to get your eagle. Where are you at on that scale? What, what do you want to do? And uh, he said, I'm, I'm probably about an eight. Okay, well, that, he, you know, that's, that's pretty good. So uh, went to bed, woke up the next morning, Landon came up and he said, Dad, I'm 11. And uh, I told him, that's, that's great. Um, wherever you're at on the scale, we want to help you. Uh, if you want to get your eagle, that's great. Let's do it. Um, but I told him, the first time I have to have a fight with you about it, I'm done helping you. You're on your own. And uh, we, we were like within millimeters of the fight. And I, I almost walked away and told him he's on his own. Um, but, but he fought hard to get it, and he put a lot of work in, and I'm proud of him. He's a good kid. Uh, he worked hard. I think I pushed him on his project. I, uh, he wanted to do whatever was the easiest, which is probably like most 15-year-old boys. I hope it's like most 15-year-old boys. Um, but we made him do something a little bit harder than what was just the easiest, and uh, it was a great treasure. He interviewed um, military veterans, 
and uh, got there, not him, but he organized people to uh, interview military veterans. Um, I know two of those veterans that were interviewed have died since, since that project. And uh, those are great treasures to have uh, to last um, and keep those memories. So I'm proud of Landon and the work that he's done and the kid that he is. And uh, I'm just really happy and proud of him. Okay, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm begged for one of these. And this has been a particular project that I did not have time for, but felt that it became very, very important. So this is for you, son. And it will it will fit um, the paperwork and your email and all it to him. So, um, Kyle has one and he kept hinting that he wanted something similar. And I was mostly praying that I had already boxed up all of his badges. So small miracle that that was not tucked away. And very at the back of Grandpa's shopper. Um, Lionel hates when I tell people that he came into this world when he was so tiny. And he was diagnosed as a failure to thrive when he was just 12 months old. And he hates that, but he continues to thrive. And I'm so grateful for him and the good example he gets. And you might hate it for you to all know because he's home every day from school and he still hugs me. And it's not like a quick, awkward hug. He really hugs me. And he is a true light in of my life. And I'm really grateful that you guys all came to support him. We felt that it was really important that we take a minute among all the chaos in our lives right now to recognize this accomplishment before we moved. To let it take a good look around. You've got a lot of friends, people that love you, and um, even though Dad said you were going to be on your own, please know that you're never ever going to be on your own. And we love you. And share that with you guys in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your turn. So, like, the only reason I really wanted my eagle was to see if I could get it by the end of the year. So, I definitely worked really hard to get it, and I'm super glad that I got it. And, um, so every day I would be working on merit badges, which was really hard at the time because of school and soccer. So, and I know I couldn't do this without help, so, um, I'd like to thank all the young men who, um, helped me throughout the way. Like, because scouts would not be fun with, without all the my good friends. Um, one of the like best memories I have of Scouts is when we went to go dig snow caves. So one day we went and we dig snow caves, we found a good spot, and then a week later we come and find that like a big like storm. What is it? Storm, yeah, storm. And it buried all of the snow caves. So we <laughs> turn around and go home and we didn't get home until like one o'clock at night. So that was fun. Um, I'd like to thank John Andrews for keeping keeping me going and keeping track of my progress. I'd like to thank all my young men leaders who made the camp outs and activities fun. I'd like to thank my dad because he, he he was there for me the whole time and he he was a good example and my mom because she's awesome and my grandparents because they constantly love me and support me and my fish up for being my fish up and then God for just God and I like to bear my testimony and I know the church is true and I I know I couldn't get my ego without help and I'm glad I got it in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. Um, closing prayer by the back. Before I give the closing prayer. I want to say as a grandpa how proud I am of you. I've never seen Kyle and Gina cry one, only one other time, and, and one time that was my dad's funeral, and the other one was at the, when your dad died when Kelly passed away. 
I want you to look around here one more time. I know most of you people here. I've, I've come to know you, and I'm really sad to see Gene and Kyle move out of this ward because uh, I'm going to miss going to church when we get to go back to church and see most of you. And so I kind of feel like I'm an associate member of this ward for all the years that they've been here. I appreciate all that you have done for them. And I think some of these tears up here were for the, they're, they're leaving this ward. And I think uh, you guys have been a great, great influence on them. And I'd like to thank uh, Brother and Sister Johnson and I've known Val for, oh my gosh, forever and ever and ever. But thank you for allowing everybody to come here and, and hold us today. And I'd like to thank my daughter, Gina, and Kyle, my son-in-law, for the great job that they've done taking my advice and raising this young man. <laughs> it's a good thing you listen to me. And uh, I just love uh, Kyle and Gina and their family, and I love all of you people here. And, and I know these people always support you no matter where you live. Uh, I even have my own personal bodyguard over here if you ever need help. So with that, just thank you, everybody. And, and uh, if you'll join me, I'll go ahead and offer the closing prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, as we meet here today to honor Landon in this special ceremony where he has received his Eagle Scout. We are grateful, Heavenly Father, for him, and grateful for his life, and for the influence that he has had on so many people. And we pray, Father, that as he goes forward, that now we bless him and give him the courage and the strength to continue to carry on and to do that which is right. We ask the Heavenly Father to bless his friends and his family who have come out to support him today, that they may know and understand of the influence they have had in Landon's life. We pray, Heavenly Father, that that will bless all of the young men in this group today, that if they decide to go forward and serve missions for thee, that that will give them the strength and the courage to do so. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for thy gospel for all that it means to us. We're grateful for thy son, Jesus Christ, and for his atoning sacrifice for us. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for those who have brought refreshments. Pray that thou will bless them for their efforts, and pray that thou will put a blessing upon the food. As we leave here today, Father, we express our love unto thee, and ask that thou will protect us as we travel home, that we may do so in safety. We give thee thanks for all that we have, Father. And we do so humbly in the name of thy beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you're under 18, you probably can't.